I had always been fascinated by the culinary world, the art of crafting the perfect dish, and the symphony of flavors that danced on the palate. So, when I landed a job at the prestigious restaurant called Wow Bio, it felt like a dream come true. The restaurant was renowned for its exquisite cuisine and impeccable service. It was a place where the elite dined and where every meal was an event. Little did I know that my journey there would lead to a nightmarish experience that would haunt me for the rest of my days. My first day at WOW, Bio was filled with excitement. The chef, a tall, imposing man named Chef Laurent, had a reputation for being a perfectionist. He ran his kitchen with military precision, and I was determined to prove myself worthy of working alongside him. As I donned my crisp white chef's coat and entered the kitchen, I was greeted by the intense heat of the stoves and the cacophony of clanging pots and sizzling ingredients. Chef Laurent's roaming voice echoed through the kitchen, barking orders at the kitchen staff. It was chaos, osos, the strange beauty in it, a rhythm that I quickly became entranced by. Over the weeks, I owned my skills, working my way up from peeling potatoes to assisting the sous chef with more complex dishes. The other kitchen staff, a tight-knit group, welcomed me into their ranks. We became a family, united by our shared love for the culinary arts. But as I settled into my role, I couldn't help but notice the peculiarities of Wow Bao. It wasn't just the demanding customers, or the high-stress environment. It was something deeper, something that seemed to linger beneath the surface of the restaurant's opulent feuille. The ambience of Wow Bayo was haunting in its own right. The dimly lit dining area was adorned with antique mirrors and plush red velvet curtains that seemed to absorb the very light in the room. The flickering candlelight on each table cast eerie shadows that danced on the walls, giving the impression of ghostly apparitions. It was as if the restaurant itself was holding on to secrets, and I was determined to uncover them. One evening, as I was preparing a delicate salmon dish in the kitchen, I overheard a hushed conversation between Chef Laurent and the restaurant Sanson's owner Saint Sinclair. Their voices were low but I strained to catch their words. It's imperative that we maintain the tradition, Mr. Sinclair said, his tone laced with a sense of urgency. Chef Laurent nodded solemnly. I understand, sir. The preparations will be made. I couldn't help but wonder what they were talking about, what tradition they were so adamant about preserving. It was a mystery that gnawed at the edges of my mind. As the weeks turned into months, I became increasingly aware of a sense of impending doom that hung over Wow Bio. It was a feeling that was shared by the entire kitchen staff, but no one dared to speak of it openly. We went about our duties as a state of silent dread, our movements precise and efficient but our eyes constantly scanning the shadows. Then came the night that would forever change my life. It was a stormy evening, rain lashing against the restaurant's windows and the wind howling like a banshee. The dining area was unusually empty and the atmosphere was thick with tension. I could sense that something was different, something was off. Chief Laurent called a meeting in the kitchen, his face grave. He addressed us with a solemnity I had never seen before. Tonight, he began, we must prepare for the most important service in the history of Wow Bao. The guests will be special. They must be treated with the utmost respect and care. Follow my lead. And remember, the tradition must be maintained. 
we nodded, though none of us had any idea what he meant by the tradition. The kitchen was a whirlwind of activity as we prepared for the evening service. Each dish was meticulously crafted, every ingredient measured to perfection. As the evening progressed, the restaurant filled with an eerie sense of anticipation. The guests who arrived were unlike any we had seen before. They were dressed in black, their faces hidden beneath dark hoods. Their eyes, however, were piercing, and they seemed to watch our every move with an intensity that sent shivers down my spine. The tension in the kitchen was palpable. Chef Laurent's hands trembled as he plated each dish, and the kitchen staff moved in silence, our eyes darting nervously between the orders and the hooded figures in the dining area. Then it happened. One of the hooded guests, a tall figure with a long, bony hand, raised a finger and pointed towards the kitchen. Chef Laurent froze, his face drained of color. The rest of us turned to see what had caught the guest's attention. There, in the corner of the kitchen, was a small ornate door that none of us had ever noticed before. It was carved with intricate symbols and seemed out of place amidst the stainless steel appliances and gleaming countertops. The hooded guest rose from their seat and glided towards the door, their movements unnaturally smooth. Chef Laurent stepped forward, his voice shaking. I'm sorry, but that area is off limits, he stammered. But the guest ignored him and reached for the doorknob. As they turned it, a told, otherworldly breeze swept through the kitchen, extinguishing the flames on the stoves and causing the candles to flicker violently. In that moment, I felt a presence, a malevolent force that seemed to emanate from the door. It was as if something ancient and dark had been awakened. The guests stepped through the door, and it swung shut behind them with a resounding thud. Panic gripped the kitchen as we rushed towards the door, but it refused to budge. It was as if the very walls of Wow Bio had sealed us in with our fate. Hours passed, though it felt like an eternity. The kitchen staff and I huddled together, our minds racing with fear and uncertainty. What had happened to the guest who had entered that door? And what was the tradition that Chief Laurent had spoken of? As dawn broke, the door finally creaked open, revealing an empty kitchen. The hooded guest was gone, leaving behind an eerie stillness. We rushed to the dining area, but it too was empty, devoid of any sign of the hooded figures. Chef Laurent was a broken man, his eyes haunted by what had transpired. He spoke of the tradition, of a pact that had been made with a dark force long ago. The hooded guests were the keepers of that pact, and Wow Bao was their vessel. I left Wow Bao that day, my soul scarred by the horrors I had witnessed. The restaurant continued to operate, its doors open to the elite, but it was no longer the place of culinary excellence I had once admired. It had become a place of darkness, a nexus for forces beyond human understanding. To this day, I can't shake the feeling of impending doom that lingers over Wow Bio. I often wake in the dead of night, drenched in cold sweat, haunted by the memory of that fateful evening. And I can't help but wonder if the restaurant's tradition will one day come calling for me to claim my soul as it has claimed so many others. So, if you ever find yourself dining at Wow Bayo, beware the hooded guests and the ornate door in the corner of the kitchen. And remember, not all nightmares involve the paranormal. Some are born from the darkest depths of human desire, and they can consume us all.